good evening lovely people i'm here once again to share the word on forgiveness it's taken from the book of genesis chapter 15 chapter 50 verses 15 to 21 but before that let's pray the master savior jesus we give you the praise we give you the honor we give you the adoration of oh father lord as your word is coming forth for oh god lord let us not only be the hearers of your word but also the doers oh father lord today let your word help somebody oh god lord let people forgive their friends let them forgive all the hurts that is in their heart so that they too will be free in the mighty name of jesus lord i thank you father don't let me speak only my words but of your words in the mighty name of jesus i pray with us Amen. Now, we want to know what um, forgiveness is. We've been hearing the word forgiveness. Forgiveness. What is forgiveness? Forgiveness is an action of letting go of hurt or pain. Maybe you are here, somebody has hurt you, somebody has caused you pain. Just let it go. Learn to forgive the person. When you do that, you yourself, you will be free. See, unforgiveness when somebody offends you he throws a chain at you so if you do you don't learn to forgive you lock the other side of the chain so you are tied and they are pulling you do you get me they'll be pulling you every day you'll be thinking oh this person has hurt me this person has hurt me this person eh, hmm. what the person has done to me this what the person has done to me that you just have to let go of certain things forgiveness is a virtue of the brief if you are a brief person you will always learn to let go of some things i know how sometimes things can hurt you i know how sometimes it is painful but you just have to let go when you go to the book of genesis 50 to 15 um, uh, from 15 to 21 you realize that's where jo- uh, joseph his brothers offended him we all know the story of joseph how his brothers he, he had a dream joseph was a dreamer he had a dream that he would stand tall and then the his his um, 11 brothers would bow to him but both all of them didn't see the revelation in what he was saying if they knew what joseph would have become maybe they would have helped him out but they didn't also see they became jealous and that is a bad spirit jealousy so at the end of the day they plotted evil they plotted evil they plotted evil it ended joseph at potiphar's house he went through a lot there and at the end of the day he became a prime minister sometimes people who offend us don't know where we are going to maybe they feel they are offending us to make us stop our greatness but if you the person they have offended learn to forgive them you will get to your promised land I'm, I know Joseph, it hurt him, but when he learned to forgive, he always forgave them no matter what, and it landed him somewhere. Let us learn to be like Joseph. Your miracle is on the way. Who knows, maybe the unforgiveness you are keeping in you is also hindering your miracle and your breakthrough from coming. So why not just forgive? You always learn to forgive. Before somebody offends you, cry, just forgive. You just have to forgive someone. I don't know who this word is going to, but you just need to learn to forgive someone. Let the hurt go. I know it hurts. You can cry it out. You can just cry it out to release the pain. Then you just learn to forgive the person. Because if you don't forgive the person, The hurt is still there. I don't know if you've had this feeling that somebody has offended you. It's really hurting you so much. But the moment maybe you share it out and you forgive it, you forgive the person, then the the hurt is gone. You don't feel it anymore. You are free. So you just have to have mercy on people. They were even scared when their dad died that maybe Joseph will start to revenge. But Joseph told them not to fear. That is how it is. Maybe if you even forgive them, they might be feeling guilty because they will be feeling that, oh, what we did is very bad and maybe he will take revenge against us and all those stuff. But you just need to tell them to what? Fear not. Don't fear. 
I will not help you. Just be free. Be a lively person. Our Father in heaven is always forgiving us our sins. So what stops us? You need to take away the stony heart and have a heart of flesh. Just take it away. Have a heart of flesh. Our forgiveness can really, 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 really stop our prayers. It can stop our prayers from being answered. Just need to let go. It might be painful. It is painful. It's not even it might. It is very painful. But you must just learn to forgive the person. Just tell the person, I forgive you. There was one time I was reading something um, in, a, in a magazine or somewhere. They said one girl was sitting in a house and this in this US country, you know someone can just go and just shoot. So he happened to shoot into a house and two bullets. Until one fell somewhere, another one went to hit a little girl of about 15 years, her spine, which paralyzed the girl. And years to come, they took this matter to court and everything. And then the courts, on the, like when they were trying the guy, they asked the little girl that, what does she have to say about this? And she looked at the man who has paralyzed her. And told the man, I forgive you. Everybody in the court started crying. This is somebody who has paralyzed her that she might not be able to walk again. But she just told the man, even in this my condition, that I am paralyzed and you are the cause of it. I forgive you. This alone will even hunt the man. But she has forgiven the man, so it's not left to the man, whatever you do, you do, but you are free. Who even knows? As she has even forgiven the man, who knows, maybe her miracle is on the way, maybe she might be able to work again. So just let it go. This is somebody who has been paralyzed. I don't know what somebody might have done to you, but just forgive. Learn to forgive. This is what I have for you and this is what I'm sharing with you today. God bless you as you listen and God bless you as you forgive somebody. Take your phone, call the person who has hurt you, tell the person I forgive you and I love you. God bless you all for listening. Bye.